And welcome to the Market Alert, Friday the 18th of November 2016. So yesterday we had a lot of news out in the pre-market session. You can see uh, this listed here. We've also had uh, uh, Dudley speaking and the market uh, reaction. Well, not a lot really. This is the pre-market session. The market then uh, kicks off and again we see the market uh, range bound. Then we get uh, Yellen speaking at four, which is the pink vertical line. The market then has to absorb what she's got to say. The market trading down to the 18,850, uh, which is the blue line. And then we get uh, a buy signal. But the market's so sideways, as I said yesterday, uh, just not worth uh, trading while it's in this sort of range bound. Uh, uh, market that we've got at the moment as it settles down take on board uh, Trump's uh, presidency and what he's going to do then Dudley spoke at 630 and then the market just became really sideways there was a sell signal here uh, you can see that was filled and then the market just traded uh, sideways and kept giving buy signals followed by sell signals and at that point I was uh, very bored you can see the market there uh, sideways but uh, as I'd returned from the memorial service I just had a look see what was going on but it was just really really sideways and uh, yet again this is reflected in the daily chart you can see the prices are really in a sort of sideways range you notice the range of yesterday's bar is even uh, tighter now it's uh, going into what's uh, a sort of a, a coiled type of spring and also a triangular shape as well. You've got this um, line here and a line there, but which should create a triangular shape. Let me see if I can just draw this on uh, for you. We just want a, a line, a diagonal line is what we want. So you've got this shape here and then this shape here, and that gives you this sort of triangular shape. And this is a pennant formation and what you'll find is whichever way the market breaks it tends to uh, to go you see it just gets narrower and narrower and then eventually just uh, breaks out there news wise today well what have we got um drug is speaking this morning 8 30 a.m and then at uh, 2 30 we've got uh, george speaks sorry uh, yeah remember george speaks and then dudley speaks so uh Again, uh, we've got uh, two sort of um, sub or members of the Federal Reserve there speaking, George and uh, Dudley and later on. So that's at 2.30, so that should give the market a bit of a kick. But also it could send it into uh, a volatile sideways move. It just depends if there's anything else to back it up. But at the moment, if Yellen can't move the markets when she speaks, it's highly unlikely that these two will as well. So you've got a double... A double shot really at uh, trying to get the market moving but it uh, will probably be uh, another sideways uh, day because that's what uh, the pattern is at the moment you need something significant to break out of this uh, sideways move that we've got at the moment on the implied volatility 11.19 so slightly on yesterday uh, no surprise really because the market moved down then it moved back and the sideways move so a bit of increase in the uh, option premiums there Actually, it's not. It's actually um, a drop in the uh, implied volatility, thinking about it. It was 11.68, I think, uh, yesterday. And the chart uh, reflects this. You can see this moving lower towards the 10% uh, uh, area. And that's really it to report this morning. There's not a lot to say because uh, there's not a lot going on. It's uh, just stuck in this sideways range, which uh, unfortunately is beyond our control. There's nothing we can actually do. To counter that, we just have to live with it until the market decides to unleash uh, some volatility and momentum in the direction we want it. So with that said, that's uh, me for this morning. I will drop you a note if I see anything on towards, but I would expect another sideways day. And that can only be gauged when the market opens at 2.30 and then take a view at uh, that point. Right, that's it. Uh, as ever, thanks uh, for your support and also for watching. See you in the next one.